Hi there and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Arsenal star is set to make a lucrative summer move. Thomas Partey appears to be nearing the end of his time at Arsenal, with the midfielder expected to leave the Emirates this summer. Arsenal has been patient with the Ghanaian, as he has struggled with various injuries that have caused him to miss many games. Although the Gunners recognize Partey's equality when he is fit, his fitness issues have often rendered him less useful to the team. A report on 442 claims that Partey's most likely next destination is Saudi Arabia, as the Saudi Pro League continues to recruit high-profile players. Party has been identified as one of the next stars to be lured to the league with a lucrative offer. Party was fit at the end of last season, and Arsenal will hope that he remains healthy until they can finalize his sale in this transfer window. With a year left in his contract, this is our best chance to sell Party. And if a huge offer arrives from Saudi Arabia, we need to offload him as soon as possible. His departure will save us some good money in wages, which can be invested in a fitter replacement. Arsenal player expected to sign West Ham contract on Monday. Arsenal defender Luis Brown has declared his intention to leave the team when his scholarship agreement ends at the end of June. Brown will probably begin his career with West Ham's development squad. The defender is set to join the Hammers on Monday, and he might become their third signing of the summer. Following the arrival of Julian Lopetegui at the club, they have worked extremely hard to identify their target and make move for them. Their transfer business will continue as a new striker, and a new defender is also required at the London Stadium this summer. Brown's dad, Kenny, is the West Ham Academy manager, while his grandfather was a West Ham legend who won the FA Cup back in 1964. It's still not known if the player is being signed for the first team or the youth team. Brown, who can play in central defence or left back, made 31 appearances for the under-18s, scoring three goals and regularly serving as the team's captain last season. It's another promising addition to the West Ham squad, who are excited to start their new chapter under the leadership of Julian Lopetegui. Fabrizio Romano says incredible Arsenal man is about to sign a new contract. Arsenal appointed Mikel Arteta as their new boss in December 2019. The Spaniard had to get through a lot of hurdles in his first few years at the club, but he came out of it brilliantly and has completely transformed the Gunners. Arsenal have challenged for the Premier League title for two seasons in a row now, and they are expected to do that again next term. That's all down to Arteta's brilliance behind the scenes, but there has been some fear about the Spaniards' future, with the clubs like Barcelona linked with him not too long ago. The 42-year-old, branded as an incredible manager by Pep Guardiola, will enter the final year of his contract in July, and Arsenal simply cannot afford to lose him. In a transfer mailback edition on the Debrief podcast, Romano was asked about Arteta's future, and the journalist confirmed that initial talks over a renewal have already taken place. He further claimed that it's only a matter of time before Arteta puts pen to paper. When asked when we can expect to see that happening, Romano said, I think soon, I don't think it's going to be long. Arsenal already had some conversations with the agents of Mikel Arteta, and they are quite relaxed because they are very happy with Arteta, and Arteta is very happy at Arsenal. They believe altogether in this project for the present and future, so this is why they are not in a rush. Obviously, they want to get it done as soon as possible, but they feel that Arteta is not entertaining talks with any other club. When he was in the rumors for Barcelona, he was very strong in public and in private about denying that possibility because he only wants to focus on Arsenal's project and Arsenal are more than happy with him. So, I think it's just a matter of time before they meet again. They can fix the details of the new contract, but the initial conversations already took place and I think it's a matter of time. And then we will see Mikel Arteta signing a new contract and being a crucial project of this fantastic project they have at Arsenal. 
Arsenal have now been offered £51 million powerhouse who is also wanted at Manchester United. According to this report from GMS, Ugarte is very much a player on United's list now and they are considering upping the end to sign him. However, there is also an intriguing mention of Arsenal in the same report. It suggested that the Gunners, along with Liverpool, have both been offered the chance to sign the midfielder from PSG. Of course, as we exclusively reported, Chelsea have also considered making a move for Ugarte should they eventually cave in and sell Conor Gallagher. The powerhouse midfielder moved to PSG for around £51 million, but he has not quite hit the heights they expected, and with Joao Neves in their sights, they are open to a deal. Arsenal then could well be handed a new midfielder on a plate here. The Gunners are wanting a midfielder like Ugarte, who can come and play as a six, allowing Declan Rice more freedom to go forward as he did towards the back end of last season. Ogarte, still only 23, would very much tick that box for Mikel Arteta. Arsenal established contacts with Euro Giants over potential transfer of a France international. Arsenal have reportedly been in contact with Barcelona over a potential transfer deal for French defender Jules Conde, though it seems he won't be available unless a club comes in with a big money offer. The former Sevilla defender, who can play center back or right back, looks like the kind of player who could be a good fit for Mikel Arteta's side, though they would arguably benefit more from bringing in someone on the left hand side. Arsenal already have Ben White as their first choice right back, while Yurian Tamber and Takahiro Tomiyasu can also play there, whereas their left sided options are slightly less convincing as Zinchenko has been out of form while Jakub Kivjur is better off in the middle. Kunde is undoubtedly a fine option, and Arsenal would do well to perhaps have him as a squad player option at centre-back, though he'd probably be too expensive, considering he'd be unlikely to shift either one of William Saliba or Gabriel Magalis out of Arteta's starting eleven. Chelsea were notably close to signing Kunde when he was still at Sevilla. Though, he chose Barcelona at that point and he is mostly performed at quite a high level for the Catalan Giants. Still, some might also argue that Barcelona will have expected more from Kunde, so there might be room for the club to shift him out at some point if anyone is willing to pay up for the 25-year-old. Kunde still looks like he'd do a job for Chelsea, even if there doesn't seem like an immediate need for him at Arsenal, while others like Manchester United and Liverpool would also surely benefit from his presence at the back. Boost for Arsenal as Antonio Conte confirms Osiman agreement. Arsenal has been handed a boost as they consider signing Victor Osiman this summer. The Nigerian striker has been one of the best forwards in European football and Napoli is preparing for his departure. Napoli recently appointed Antonio Conte as their manager and he has blocked the departure of several key players. However, he could not do so for Osiman because the striker situation is unique. Osiman and Napoli have an agreement that he would leave the club this summer. Conte has confirmed this pact between the striker and the club, making Osiman available for a transfer at the right price, he said as quoted by Metro Sport. As far as Osiman is concerned, just as I knew very well about the situation of Guevara, Di Lorenzo and Guissa, on which I have placed an absolute veto. Having said that, I know what the situation is regarding Osiman. I know that there are agreements, that it's a situation different from all the others. I can only assist. He is a player of the highest level, exceptional, but I cannot enter into any discussion between it is part of previous agreements, which have been clearly stated to me. Osiman is one of the best strikers we can sign this summer, and the Nigerian will be a fantastic addition to our squad. Conte's words do not necessarily make it easy for us to sign him, because he has a release clause, and we must pay it before we have our man. What Christian Falk has now heard about Bayern and Arsenal target Amadou Onana? Bayern are still considered more than interested in Joao Palinha, 
and would like to sign the Fulham star this summer. The Bavarian giants, however, appear likely to only post one final offer for the Portuguese international services, at which point, failure to land the holding midfielder could see the Bundesliga outfit pursue Everton's Amado Onana as an alternative. He said the following, FC Bayern would still like to sign Joao Palinha from Fulham, the third offer should still be the last, the club does not want to pay a total of more than 46 million euros for the player, because Fulham wants more money, FC Bayern recently looked at Hakan Chalhanoglu from Inter Milan, but the Italians also didn't want to let the player go for less than 50 million pound, Chalhanoglu would have loved to come to Bayern, only when it became clear that the move was failing due to finances, did he make it clear by post that he wanted to stay at Inter. Bayern is therefore continuing to look for alternatives if Palinha doesn't work out. Amado Onana from Everton is now an issue again. The Munich team now knows that Onana can leave for £52 million, pound, £61 million. Euros. The sum is higher than Palinha, but Onana is also younger at 22 years old. The money would therefore be invested for the longer term. The Belgians' current terms with the Toffees are set to expire in the summer of 2027. It's worth pointing out that Bayern Munich won't necessarily have a clear run at Onana in the current window. Most clubs are remaining patient ahead of the end of international tournaments, and in the meantime, Arsenal are said to be keeping a close eye on the Belgian international. It's just a monitoring stage as things currently stand, but things can of course quickly develop in the market. Onai Emery's Aston Villa have also been linked with a potential move for the Arsenal target, though it remains to be seen how the villains will deploy their founds this summer. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.